renowned for his unforgettable performances in films like Jaws and A Man for All Seasons, the actor Robert Shaw captivated audiences with his powerful presence and commanding voice. Born on August 9, 1927, in West Houghton, Lancashire, England, Shaw's interest in acting began at a young age. After serving in the Royal Air Force during World War II, Shaw attended the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. He began his career on the stage, performing in various Shakespearean productions and quickly gaining recognition for his talent. Shaw's breakthrough role came in 1965 when he starred as King Henry VIII in A Man for All Seasons, earning him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. From there, he went on to appear in numerous films, including From Russia with Love, The Sting, and The Taking of Pelham 123. Despite his success in film, Shaw never forgot his roots in theater. He continued to perform on stage throughout his career, earning critical acclaim for his performances and plays such as The Duchess of Malfi and Uncle Vanya. Shaw's personal life was marked by struggles with alcoholism and depression, but he remained a dedicated and passionate actor until his untimely death on August 28, 1978. His legacy continues to live on through his captivating performances and enduring impact on the world of acting. Robert Shaw was a beloved actor, known for his work in films like Jaws and From Russia with Love. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this actor? Maybe a particular moment from one of his works had a lasting impact on you. Perhaps you were captivated by his portrayal of a shark hunter in Jaws or his performance as a British agent in From Russia with Love. Whatever your memory, we would love to hear your stories and personal experiences related to this classic star. Throughout his career, the actor worked with some of the biggest names in Hollywood and left a lasting impact on the film industry. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about his life and career that we will share with you in this video. So, keep watching to learn more about the actor's life and work. Did you know that the actor had a near-death experience while filming Jaws? or that he was a published author and wrote several novels. These are just a few of the fascinating stories we will share with you about this iconic actor. So, whether you're a longtime fan of the actor or just discovering his work, we hope you enjoy learning more about his life and career. And don't forget to share your memories and stories about the actor in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. Born in 1927, the actor, Robert Shaw, was raised in a family of British intellectuals. His father was a doctor and his mother an accomplished violinist. This upbringing exposed him to a world of art and culture from a young age. Shaw's early years were spent in Stratford-upon-Avon, the birthplace of William Shakespeare, which further fueled his passion for the arts. Shaw's path to acting was not straightforward. He initially pursued a career in writing, but his love for the stage eventually led him to enroll in the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. It was here that he met and trained under renowned acting coach Mitchell St. Denis, who became a significant influence in his career. The actor's early exposure to the craft came from his time spent at the Dundee Repertory Theatre, where he honed his skills in various stage productions. Shaw's talent did not go unnoticed, and he soon began to make a name for himself in the British theatre scene. In the early 1960s, the actor made his film debut in Cleopatra, which opened doors for him in the world of cinema. He went on to appear in numerous films, including From Russia with Love, A Man for All Seasons, and The Sting. Shaw's work in these films showcased his versatility as an actor and solidified his place in the industry. Throughout his career, the actor was influenced by various mentors and peers. He worked with some of the greatest directors and actors of his time, including Alfred Hitchcock, Steven Spielberg, and Paul Newman. Shaw's ability to adapt and learn from those around him contributed to his success in the industry. In conclusion, the actor's upbringing, early exposure to the arts, and training under esteemed mentors played a significant role in shaping his career. His versatility and willingness to learn from those around him allowed him to make a lasting impact in the world of film and theater. Robert Shaw was a British actor, born on August 9, 1927, in West Houghton, England. His career spanned over three decades, and he left an indelible mark in the film industry. Shaw is best known for his versatile roles in various films and shows. Shaw's acting career began in the 1950s when he appeared in several British television shows. However, it was his role in the 1963 film, The Caretaker, that brought him to the limelight. His performance in the film was highly acclaimed, 
and it earned him a BAFTA award for the best actor. In the 1970s, Shaw became a household name after his appearance in the film Jaws. His portrayal of the shark hunter, Quint, was exceptional and it remains one of his most memorable roles. Shaw's ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters was unparalleled. Apart from his work in films, Shaw was also a talented stage actor. He appeared in several plays, including A Moon for the Misbegotten, St. Joan, and The Cherry Orchard. His performances in these plays were highly praised, and they further cemented his status as a versatile actor. Shaw's career was not without its challenges. He struggled with alcoholism, which affected his health and personal life. However, he continued to work, and his dedication to his craft remained unwavering. Robert Shaw passed away on August 28, 1978, at the age of 51. His legacy in the film industry continues to inspire aspiring actors, and his work remains a testament to his talent and versatility. Shaw's ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters was unparalleled, and his contributions to the film industry are still celebrated today. From a young age, the actor showed a keen interest in storytelling. He was born on August 9, 1927, in West Thoughton, England, and spent much of his childhood immersed in books and films. His father, a doctor, instilled in him a love for language and literature, while his mother's American heritage exposed him to the exciting world of Hollywood. The actor's first taste of performing came when he was just a teenager. He joined the local theater group and quickly discovered a natural talent for acting. He reveled in the thrill of bringing characters to life and captivating audiences with his performances. One pivotal moment in the actor's career came when he was cast in the film The Lavender Hill Mob in 1951. Although he only had a small role, he made a lasting impression on the film's director, Charles Crichton. Impressed by the actor's raw talent and charisma, Crichton encouraged him to pursue acting professionally. From there, the actor's career took off. He appeared in numerous films and television shows throughout the 1950s and 1960s, honing his craft and establishing himself as a formidable talent. He became known for his powerful performances and ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters. Despite his success, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to push himself creatively, taking on challenging roles and exploring new aspects of his talent. His passion for acting never waned, and he remained a vital force in the industry until his untimely death in 1978. Throughout his career, the actor left an indelible mark on the world of film and television. His performances continue to resonate with audiences today, a testament to his enduring talent and legacy. In the film Jaws, the character of Quint, a salty sea dog with a haunted past, was brought to life by actor Robert Shaw. The tale of the USS Indianapolis, which Quint recounts in the film, was originally conceived by playwright Howard Sackler and later expanded upon by screenwriter John Milius. However, following a disagreement between the film's screenwriters, Peter Benchley and Carl Gottlieb, Shaw stepped in and presented his own version of the speech, which ultimately made it into the final cut of the film. Shaw drew inspiration for his performance from fellow cast member Craig Kingsbury, a local fisherman, farmer, and eccentric who played the role of Ben Gardner. Director Steven Spielberg described Kingsbury as the purest version of who, in my mind, Quint was, and some of his off-screen utterances were incorporated into the script as lines for Gardner and Quint. Additionally, some of Quint's dialogue and mannerisms in the third act at sea were based on vineyard mechanic and boat owner Lynn Murphy. Following Jaws, Shaw starred in two more sea films, Swashbuckler and The Deep, both released in the mid-1970s. Swashbuckler, released in 1976, was Shaw's first sea film of the three consecutive years he spent in the genre. These roles showcase Shaw's talent for portraying complex and memorable characters in the world of sea films. The actor, Robert Shaw, faced numerous challenges on his path to success. Born in 1927, Shaw's childhood was marked by financial struggles. His family moved frequently, and Shaw often had to work odd jobs to help make ends meet. Despite these hardships, Shaw discovered a love for acting and pursued it with determination. In the early days of his career, Shaw encountered skepticism from industry professionals who doubted his talent and potential. Rejection letters poured in, but Shaw remained undeterred. He honed his craft taking on small roles in local theater productions, and working tirelessly to perfect his skills. 
Shaw's resilience paid off when he landed his first major film role in A Man for All Seasons in 1966. However, his success was short-lived as he struggled with alcoholism, which affected his career and personal life. Yet, Shaw refused to give up. He sought help and focused on his acting, delivering powerful performances in films such as The Sting and Jaws. Shaw's ability to overcome obstacles is a testament to his determination and resilience. He found creative solutions to his challenges, such as using his struggles with alcoholism to inform his performances and add depth to his characters. Shaw's legacy as a talented actor is a reminder that success is possible, even in the face of adversity. After his role as the lone British actor in The Swashbuckling Adventure, the actor took on the part of General George Armstrong Custer in the film Custer of the West. However, the production received criticism for its gloomy tone and historical inaccuracies, with the actor's portrayal of Custer being a particular point of contention. Despite Custer being of German descent, the actor's use of an Irish accent raised eyebrows. In addition to his on-screen work, the actor had a notable aversion to driving cars and other vehicles, adding another layer to his complex persona. His disinterest in driving only added to the mystique surrounding this fascinating figure in the world of film. After struggling as a stage actor in the UK, the actor's breakthrough moment came in 1963 with his role in the film The Damned. Critics took notice of his powerful performance, and he began to receive more prominent roles. In 1975, the actor delivered a chilling performance as a shark hunter in Jaws, which gained critical acclaim and solidified his status as a leading man. The film's director, Steven Spielberg, praised the actor's ability to convey intensity and emotion, stating, he had a remarkable ability to express so much with just a look. The actor's career continued to soar with his role in the 1976 film Robin and Marion, where he starred alongside Sean Connery and Audrey Hepburn. His portrayal of the Sheriff of Nottingham was hailed as a complex and nuanced performance, showcasing his range as an actor. In 1979, the actor received an Academy Award nomination for his role in A Man for All Seasons, further solidifying his place in Hollywood. His fellow actors and collaborators often spoke of his dedication to his craft and his ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters. Throughout his career, the actor continued to push boundaries and deliver captivating performances, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry and inspiring future generations of actors. After being brought in to replace Peter O'Toole, the actor delivered a memorable performance as Makinachi in the film figures in the landscape. In the thriller Jaws, the actor left an indelible mark with his portrayal of Quint. Even ad-libbing the line here lies the body of Mary Lee to give Brody's wife a hard time. When asked about the line's origin, he mentioned it was from an old grave marker in Ireland. In Robin and Marion, the actor joined a star-studded cast including two Oscar winners and four Oscar nominees, bringing his signature intensity to the role of the Sheriff of Nottingham. The actor, known for his powerful and commanding presence, had a unique approach to his work. He was deeply committed to his craft and believed in immersing himself fully in a role. He once said, I don't act, I become. This level of dedication and authenticity was reflected in his performances, which were often marked by a raw intensity. His artistic vision was shaped by his personal experiences and worldview. Growing up in England during World War II, he was exposed to hardship and loss at a young age. These experiences informed his perspective and lent a depth and gravitas to his work. He was particularly drawn to complex, morally ambiguous characters and often chose roles that allowed him to explore the darker aspects of human nature. The actor's process was methodical and rigorous. He would begin by thoroughly researching the character and the historical context of the story. He would then create a detailed backstory for the character, often drawing on his own experiences to add depth and authenticity. Once on set, he would remain in character throughout filming, even between takes. This level of commitment allowed him to fully inhabit the role and deliver truly memorable performances. Despite his intense focus on his work, the actor was also known for his warmth and generosity off screen. He was deeply respected by his peers and often went out of his way to mentor and support up and coming actors. His legacy continues to inspire and influence actors today and his unique approach to his craft remains a testament to his enduring talent and dedication. In 2014, something special happened during a Jaws screening in Dublin. 
Richard Dreyfuss, moved to tears, met the veteran actor Shaw's 14-year-old granddaughter. Despite their tense relationship during filming, Dreyfuss held Shaw in high regard. The film's character Quint, played by Shaw, sang Spanish ladies while preparing to hunt the shark. Interestingly, the traditional British tune was altered to reference Boston instead of England. Shaw's familiarity with the song may have stemmed from his time as a teacher in Saltburn by the Sea. Dreyfus and Shaw's tumultuous relationship on set has been a topic of discussion. Although they did have disagreements, Dreyfus later clarified that their animosity was exaggerated. The tension, however, did contribute to the authenticity of their characters' strained relationship in the film. The actor, Robert Shaw, left an indelible mark on the film industry with his powerful performances and distinctive voice. Born on August 9, 1927, Shaw began his career on the stage before transitioning to film. His breakout role came in 1963 with The Caretaker, where he showcased his ability to portray complex characters. Shaw's contributions to the industry continued with his chilling performance as the shark hunter Quint in Jaws, which has since become a classic film. Industry experts and those inspired by Shaw have praised his ability to bring depth and nuance to his characters. As film critic Roger Ebert noted, Robert Shaw had a remarkable ability to suggest the inner turmoil of his characters. Shaw's influence can also be seen in the trend of anti-heroes in film and television. His portrayal of characters who were both villainous and sympathetic helped pave the way for complex anti-heroes in modern storytelling. The actor's techniques, including his use of body language and vocal delivery, have also influenced subsequent generations of actors. As actor Michael Caine noted, Robert Shaw was a great actor because he had a great voice and used it to great effect. Shaw's impact on the industry is further evidenced by his numerous accolades, including 10 BAFTA nominations and one win. His enduring legacy can be seen in the continued relevance and impact of his films and performances. In conclusion, Robert Shaw's contributions to the film industry cannot be overstated. His ability to bring complexity and depth to his characters, as well as his influence on storytelling trends and techniques, have cemented his place as a legendary figure in the world of film. The actor, Robert Shaw, was initially uninterested in playing the role of Quint. It was his wife, Mary Eure, who persuaded him to change his mind. Shaw's film career had begun to falter during the latter half of the 1960s, but he managed to make a comeback. Born to Thomas and Doreen Shaw, Shaw was one of four children, having three sisters and one brother. Shaw's parents and siblings played a significant role in shaping his early life experiences. Despite the challenges he faced during the latter part of the 1960s, Shaw's perseverance and determination helped him regain his footing in the film industry. His ability to bounce back from setbacks is a testament to his resilience and dedication to his craft. In conclusion, Robert Shaw's journey in the film industry was marked by both success and setbacks. With the support of his wife and family, Shaw was able to overcome obstacles and continue to make meaningful contributions to the world of film. The actor Robert Shaw led a life that was not solely confined to the glamorous world of film. In his personal time, he indulged in his passion for literature and writing. Shaw was known to be an avid reader, and this love for literature often reflected in his work. He wrote several novels and plays, some of which were adapted for the screen. Shaw was also a musician and enjoyed playing the piano. He once stated that he found playing the piano to be akin to acting as both required creativity, discipline, and the ability to convey emotions. In addition to his artistic pursuits, Shaw was deeply committed to various philanthropic causes. He was a patron of the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children and often used his platform to raise awareness about child abuse. Shaw also supported the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, a charity that provides life-saving rescue services around the coasts of the UK and Republic of Ireland. Shaw's personal values and interests often informed his work as an actor. For instance, he was known to be a private and introspective person, and this trait often reflected in his portrayal of complex and brooding characters. Shaw's deep understanding of human emotions and his ability to convey them on screen made him a highly respected actor in his time. In conclusion, Robert Shaw was not just an accomplished actor, but also a man of many talents and interests. 
His love for literature, music, and philanthropy not only enriched his personal life, but also informed his work as an actor, making him a truly versatile and captivating performer. In the film Figures in a Landscape, the actor who played Makinachi was known for his competitive streak. Malcolm McDowell, his co-star, shared that they would often race against each other during filming. The actor's competitive nature was also evident in his improvisations for the role of Captain Quint in Jaws. Many of his ramblings, including the famous USS Indianapolis scene, were actually his own words. In Robin and Marion, the actor took on the role of the Sheriff of Nottingham, facing off once again with Sean Connery, his previous adversary in From Russia with Love. The actor's ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters was evident in these diverse roles, showcasing his talent and range as an actor. Despite the challenges of working on set, the actor's dedication and professionalism shone through. His co-stars and crew members have shared stories of his competitiveness, creativity, and commitment to his craft. Through his work, the actor has left a lasting impact on the film industry and continues to be remembered for his memorable performances. Reflecting on the actor's legacy, it's clear that his work in the film industry has left an indelible mark. With a career spanning over three decades, he starred in a variety of roles that showcased his versatility and talent. From his early days on stage to his iconic performances in films like The Sting and Jaws, his contributions have resonated with audiences and fellow professionals alike. His ability to fully embody each character, bringing them to life with nuance and depth, is a testament to his dedication and passion for the craft. He once said, the key to acting is to be truthful, to be honest, to be genuine. This advice still rings true for aspiring actors today. Looking to the future, the actor's legacy continues to inspire new generations of talent. As the industry evolves, his work serves as a reminder of the power of storytelling and the importance of authenticity in performance. For those looking to follow in his footsteps, he offered this wisdom always be prepared, always be professional, and always be open to learning and growing as an artist. By staying true to these principles, aspiring actors can honor his legacy while forging their own paths in the industry. As you reflect on the actor's career, you might consider his remarkable performance in Jaws. The film, released in 1975, showcased his exceptional ability to portray complex characters. His role as Quint, the rugged shark hunter, left an indelible mark on audiences, demonstrating his versatility and commitment to his craft. Beyond Jaws, the actor's work spanned various genres, from historical dramas like A Man for All Seasons to thrillers such as The Sting. His contributions to the world of film and television have undoubtedly enriched our collective cultural tapestry. Now, we'd love to hear your thoughts on the actor's work and legacy. What are your favorite roles and performances? How has his career influenced your own appreciation for cinema? Share your memories and insights in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits who shape our entertainment. Your engagement helps us continue to provide engaging and thought-provoking content. Let's keep the conversation going.